The sun has just gone down over Barra Colorado Island in the middle of the Panama Canal and an impenetrable darkness begins to spread throughout the rainforest. Soon, the night-flying sweat bee, Megalopter genalis, will fly from her inconspicuous nest stick suspended in the undergrowth to search for flowers. Somehow she finds them, and flying back through a complex tangle of vines and trees, she somehow finds her nest again too. But how? Light levels under the forest canopy are now astonishingly low. A person standing beside Megalopter's nest is not even able to see a hand in front of their face. Yet these little bees, with their tiny eyes and rice grain sized brains, somehow manage to navigate through this dark and complex world. For more than two decades, we've been studying the visual powers of Megalopter in, in, in very dim light and their ability to navigate through this incredibly complex environment at night. And what we've discovered is that these bees have remarkable night vision. By observing the bees at night with infrared illumination that only our cameras uh, can detect, we've been able to find out that these bees can learn the arrangement of landmarks around the nest entrance uh, and to use those landmarks to find their way home at night. We've also discovered that when the bees return to the nest, they're able to make a precision landing without crashing exactly as a day active bee would do. Interestingly though, there is one cue in the rainforest that's actually quite obvious, and those are the bright patches of night sky that you see through the forest canopy, which is itself a black silhouette against that bright sky. Another interesting aspect of these night sky patches is that their size and shape and distribution vary from one location in the rainforest to another. Moreover, Seen through the low acuity eyes of the bee, this pattern of skylight patches is probably seen as a pattern of bright blobs against the darkness. The central question in our study was whether Megalopter could potentially use this pattern of night sky patches in the canopy to navigate her way home again after a foraging trip. For instance, could she associate different canopy patterns with different locations in the forest and use that information to navigate home? As a first step to answering this question, we train Megalopter to associate her nest with a dorsally placed landmark, a single bar or a pattern of stripes. First, her nest stick was placed on a stand in the forest. Two unoccupied nests were then placed on either side and identical round disks were attached to the end of each nest. These disks concealed the nest from the bee's view, but each had an entrance hold for the bee. The dorsal landmark were placed on a clear shelf above the five nests from where the positions could easily be swapped. In our experiments, after a trained bee left her nest for her evening foraging journey, we swapped the dorsal landmark she had learned with one of the other landmarks. So what happens when she returns? Does she enter the nest holding the landmark she has learned? In other words, the wrong nest? Or will she return to the nest she had previously been occupied? Landing on the wrong nest, but with the right landmark, would prove that the bee relies on dorsal visual cues for homing. And this is precisely what she does. Whether it's a simple stripe or a more complex pattern of stripes in different orientations, Megalopta is able to distinguish this dorsal cue from others and to associate it with the location of her nest entrance. In other words, Megalopter relies on dorsal visual cues for homing. But could this also work for the pattern of night sky patches in the canopy? To test this, we place the bee's nest stick just below the edge of a large but simplified artificial canopy. The canopy pattern consisted of dark circles of different sizes. Under the opposite edge, we placed a second unoccupied nest. We first allowed the bee to become accustomed to the artificial canopy for a few nights. Then one night when the bee was away foraging, we simply turned the artificial canopy 180 degrees. When the bee returned, she inspected the underside of the artificial canopy and she flew directly into the unoccupied nest, that is the wrong nest. Clearly, she had used this broad canopy pattern to identify the location of her nest entrance. For Megalopter, flying through a dark rainforest at night, 
close to the physical limits of what her tiny eyes will allow, the ability to see these light patches in the canopy may be crucial for her ability to find her way home.